Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 49 and in this video guys I want to talk about the early game marches that you can use for free to play players and mid spinners. I've been asked a lot to make a guide about these kind of topics because a lot of people are joining the game and they have no idea which immortals to build and which marches are they going to use. So in this video I'll be talking only about the water march in early game, mid game and late game for free to play players, mid spenders and high spenders as well. Uh, before I start you have to decide which kind of immortals that you're going to use. I mean which kind of immortal leaders that you're going to use when it comes to tech because uh, for myself here I decided from the very beginning that I'm going to use Cavalry's and Shieldman immortals. At this case which is Attila, uh, Ragnar, same for my other marches as well, uh, it's not like I choose the other marches, it's like I've been uh, put in this place because I've ignored the Spearman tick uh, since the very beginning of the game. You can see that all the Spearman tick here is either not upgraded at all or it is very very low and I cannot even uh, use Spearman Immortals because they will be very very weak. Same for the Immortals uh, technology as well. If you can see here, the Immortal uh, Spearman technology has been ignored as well. So for myself here, I choose Cavalry and I choose Tildeman for early game Immortals that you can use. Right. I believe in the first couple of days, you will get Helen of Troy for free. Uh, you will be getting Brynhild very easy from either summoning or from market. Even if you don't have unlocked it yet, the shards will be available in, in market. Uh, Lancelot will be given to you for free. And of course, Merlin, if you paid at least $1 to get uh, his package and unlock him. Merlin is very easy to get, just $1. So, if you're not even getting Merlin, I don't recommend to play water at all. And wait un until you can switch fire however if you're if you don't have merlin you can use either sumo goes in or you can use the free shadow immortal which is very strong i highly recommend it made it right so this is the early game for the first couple of days this is how it should look like however when you progress in the server you will be unlocking either harold from uh arena you will be replacing harold with uh this guy here lancelot and you will having Brynhild and Harald. You'll also still have Helen. Helen is very strong combined with Merlin because she is the only uh, immortal that you can get in an early game that applies chill. And later on you can get Dido, but Dido is a pay win immortal. It will be uh, relatively hard to obtain Dido, so I'd recommend use Helen along with Merlin. Uh, if you were lucky to unlock Yushitsion through either summoning or uh, I think you can unlock him only through summoning or and Mysterium if you were if you were very lucky. So if you manage to unlock Yushitsion summoning or Mysterium, I recommend to replace Helen with Yushi. He deals a lot of damage, he will help you a lot in hunting bosses as well. So this is how it should look like in the first maybe month. However, if you're not planning to obtain Atella. You can use Hippolyta instead of Brynhild. Uh, you can use uh, Richard instead of Bryn Brynhild. I only recommend those two immortals. Hippolyta deals a lot of damage and she will also help you in hunting bosses. She's gonna make your life a lot easier. You're gonna save a lot of troops. And for Richard, he will help you a lot in BVB. He applies lots of stun. He works exactly like Atella. However, his stun is a bit different. And... Uh, the thing with Richard is he's also a free to play immortal. You can unlock him either from summoning or from Mysterium as well. So you can use Hippolyta or either uh, Richard. For uh, people who are willing to invest a bit of money, you can use Attila of course. And this is how a free to play late game water march should look like. It is the usual Attila Harald Merlin Yushitsion. If you are willing to... Uh, invest more in the mid game. I recommend to use Dido instead of Yushi. 
Uh, that is very strong combined with Merlin. It helps him deal a lot of damage and she's a support. She provides a lot of physical defense to the Water March. That makes the Water March sustains a lot of physical damage. And also, uh, Harold provides some debuffs uh, which increases the physical damage dealt from either Attila or himself. Uh, so this is how a mid spender mid game water march should look like. Uh, the transition goes from uh, Ryushi to Dedu. This is the only difference that we have made here. However, if you're planning or if you want to use a Spearman Immortal in a state of Shieldman, or Spearman in the state of Cavalry Immortal, I would recommend that you get Ramses. That is, of course, if you're willing to invest uh, a bit. Uh, Ramses is available here in the packages. You can unlock him through the Crown King package for only $15. You get 60 shards. However, in order to max him, you will either have to complete him from Immortal Glory packages. They will appear once you unlock the Immortal, or you can get his fragments from the market. They appear as regularly as uh, Attila, and he also only available for gems in the market. For late game marches, I believe if you're meta spender and this is the amount of money that you're only willing to spend, this is how your march should look like. That is, of course, if you are willing to unlock Harold's artifact, it will be a very solid march. However, if you're willing to spend more, I recommend to get Ragnar in the state of uh, Harold. Uh, Ragnar is a very strong immortal. He's a defense immortal. He's the only defense uh, water immortal that you can get. Also, he provides a lot of sustain. That is, if you're up against an immortal like Alex, he can uh, sustain a bit of damage from Alex. He also provides a lot of damage uh, increase to Merlin because his skill increases the magical damage taken by the enemy by up to 30%. Because physical damage in a certain area and increases the magical damage received by 30%. Uh, so this is how a water marsh from early game to mid game to late game should look like. If you are only a free to play player and you're only willing to, you're not willing to invest in either Dido or Ragnar, then I recommend to use only Harold and you should see on that is of course for a water marsh. Uh, this will be all for this video guys. Uh, hopefully it was helpful to you. Uh, next time I'll be maybe talking about fire marches. Uh, let me know what you think about this kind of content down below in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a good one.